and hello everybody today I'm going to show you how you can use the front end submission to post so somebody wants to post uh, within the front end submission and then they uh, have embedded their WhatsApp number um, so when people are clicking on the post then they can contact the person that have posts with their WhatsApp number so uh, let's just uh, show you uh, what I mean. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's just a simple post using some fake and uh, a prepaid number. I've bought a prepaid number for this tutorial. So if you can see here, then I've put a uh, mobile number. Uh, this is not so important. It's Dutch, but it's just a simple post front end submission dummy text let's just choose um, picture well let's see let's just use this one and select let me post so this is the number and if we are going home then you can see doesn't look great I know I know but just for this tutorial so when we go into this particular website, you can see here this is what with advanced custom fields. So when we click on it, all right, this is not good. But we go into Jet Engine. Then you can see that it has the phone number in here, but um, in this case I don't have WhatsApp installed on my. Uh, computer but I promise you it works when you go to the mobile version then everything should be fine so there are two ways to do it one is with the advanced custom fields and one is with um, the jet engine from Croco Block um, I just go into the websites that I'm using so um, First, let's just see how we can do it with the advanced custom fields. Um, so you go into the advanced custom fields. Uh, then we've made WhatsApp. And the other thing that you have to do is just make sure that there's a text label must be WhatsApp. In, the, in my case, it, the label is WhatsApp, and that's the only thing that you have to do. For the rest, you don't have to do nothing. So you don't have to fill in the validation. Nothing. Only the general is uh, is the most important. So that's the only thing that you have to do. Remember the label we're going to use that later on with uh, advanced cost of fields and with Jet Engine is basically the same thing. Uh, there is only one small detail and you can embed it also within the slug so when you go to the whatsapp number then you can also use it in here but it's better to do it to not to do it so let's just choose it what's up and update it so the slug is updated uh, now let's just make it a unique slug I'm going to copy it. Then you go into the single page. Then you have to choose for the advanced to the dynamic uh, link from Jet Engine. So you go into the link and then you embed it in here. Then you choose for advanced custom fields. So that's the first one with the advanced custom fields option. And then we choose for that particular WhatsApp. So it was the advanced custom fields. Um, some of you guys are thinking, well, I know what you mean, but I want just for everybody to understand it. And it's a little bit slow. I'm now at the house of my girlfriend, and she has <laughs> not a very quick. Internet. 
Uh, well, there it is. Yeah, so there's the label. And we have embedded in here. We have chosen for this particular label. Then the prefills, prefix must be WhatsApp, sends, question mark, phone, without the land codes. And why we are not using the land codes is because we are going to use it in fluent CRM and that's going to generate automatically the, the land codes. I'm coming back uh, for this because I want to say something about it. But uh, in this case, we don't use it. And this is the same thing for uh, Jet Engine. So when you want to use Jet Engine, then you just go to the particular post type where you want to have it. And that is the WhatsApp number. So when we are going here to the Jet Engine, and we go to the post types, and please be fast in that. And then we go into the particular post type. Then you can see here that it's in here, the WhatsApp number. And it must be, of course, this one because we have changed it recently. So we are going in here and, well, actually it's the same. Let's just refresh it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, as you can see here, let me go to um, the particular post tab, and it's just the same thing. Well, then you have to update it. So this is the label. So it's, it's using the swatch, it's the label. Um, well, that's the only thing that you have to do for, from now on. And the next thing that we have to do is go into um, the forms. And we are going to particular form for the front end submissions and how you can do this I have made all the other tutorials so you can watch that and the other thing that you have to do in here is embed a um, telephone number fields and make it regret if you want to um, but it doesn't it is not necessary of course and the default country then you choose your country and that's what I meant when you are not doing this when you're not using the default country then you must put in here your country number. So in my case, it's the Netherlands, then it's 31. But uh, when you're doing it in this way, then you don't have to use the country number in the link. So that's the only thing that we have to do. And let's just try it for one more time. Why? Well, I don't know. And we go to the website. And you can click now on the button to watch another video because this is not so interesting. But we do I'm gonna do it anyway. If you don't want to stack to this tutorial, just watch other tutorials for falling cats or something like that. Uh, let's just make it blah blah and whoop. so it's the same number. Mm. And then blah blah blah. And I'm not so creative this day. Up. And there's another one, blah blah. And we choose a picture. And let's just let's use this one. Well, I'll use the ideal. <laughs> Taxonomy. We are going to publish it. And then we are going to the home page and we are watching the WhatsApp if they're working. And I've redirected to another link, uh, a new uh, new window. So it must be open to another window. 
it doesn't look great I know guys let me just click on it and if you can see here you see the telephone number but I didn't install the watch app on this computer so and the other one works as well as you can see in here so both buttons work this is the URL thank you for watching I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to subscribe consider to subscribe and I see you in the next tutorials